I just wanted to uh, put my input as a young boy who was affected by pornography. My story is very uh, basic. I started watching pornography when I was about eight or nine. Uh, I became very fascinated by it. Uh, and uh, I found a lot of comfort in it. It was a very exciting thing for me to see uh, and it made me feel happy. And uh, uh, my parents, uh, I grew up in Soviet Union. My parents didn't know anything about sexual education. Uh, they didn't, weren't aware of dangers of pornography. They thought that the entire world was doing it and it was healthy for kids to see that. And they thought it was, would be good for them to became, become educated about what's out there. So that did not prevent me from watching any of that. Uh, and I watched a lot of it. Uh, it pretty much became, became my obsession uh, through my life, but um, my access to pornography was uh, limited by my resources. So while I you know, was very obsessed with it uh, through my life, I, I, uh, you know, I couldn't watch it as much as I wanted to because I didn't, just didn't have the access. You know, I, didn't have a, uh, I didn't have a computer and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, what, when it really escalated for me is when I ended up getting a computer. A lap, my first laptop computer, I was about uh, 20 years old maybe 21, um, and I became living independently. So I had the, the freedom to be by myself as much as I wanted to and watch uh, as much of pornography as I wanted to. And that's when it really escalated for me. Uh, and uh, another thing that uh, happened is when I got in a relationship uh, uh, with a woman that I want to you know, spend the rest of my life with, uh, I always thought that pornography was just something I did because I was lonely or single. And I thought that once I get in a relationship, I will be able to uh, stop it and uh, you know I'll just be happy with my girlfriend but what I found out was that that wasn't the case not that I wasn't happy with my girlfriend but I just I couldn't stop the pornography it just uh, uh, I just kept seeking this this rash of porno rash of pornography when you you know see something exciting and something uh, more exciting more exciting just like Dr. Uh, Dines explained that my brain was getting used to this stuff so by the time I uh, by the time I realized something was going on, I mean, I was like the, the sick ass, sick video she was describing. Uh, I watched stuff like that. I, mean, I was looking for stuff like that, and the sicker the better, you know. I I, I don't want to go in details about the stuff that I watched, but uh, right now, uh, three years in recovery and kind of having detoxed a little bit from it, uh, I, I cannot believe uh, some of the stuff that I used to look at and think it was normal to do. Uh, you know, these days I I can't I can't even watch read some read our movies. I can't believe that it's accepted by society. Uh, you know, like 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 Dr. Dine said that uh, you know people realized a long time ago that people uh, uh, crave this violence and uh, obscene sexuality uh, because it's uh, exciting and uh, and you know this billion dollar industry is capitalizing on it right now as we speak and uh and you know the people's like pornharms.com and stuff like that uh you know i have my own blog at feedtherightwolf.org when i try to blog about my own recovery but we're up against like this billion dollar corporations then you well-oiled machine we get generates billions of dollars and uh we are we're fighting an uphill battle and the only way we can win is if regular folks like us you know people who watch these videos we're gonna start spreading the word uh, you know, social media is powerful, and hopefully we can. I mean, we gotta, we gotta do something because this, this is just scares me. I mean, I, I was a good guy, and I was doing. You know, I think I'm a pretty honest guy. I mean, I got good grades in school. I tried to do my best. I listened to my parents, and yet I was doing some very sick stuff sexually as a result of my uh, exposure to pornography and uh, not being aware of the dangers that really it uh, brings with it and. And it just makes me think if if I was doing such sick stuff, then then other people will too, you know. And uh, I don't know. I I think we're just gonna have a lot of sex crimes in the future coming up as a result of that. Uh, we already have a lot of failed marriages. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it just, it, it's just it's very dangerous stuff we're talking about, and uh, most of the people are in denial and not even aware of it. So I just want to say. Thanks to PornHarm.com. Uh, I just recently discovered them on YouTube, and uh, they're great, and they're doing a great thing, and I wish them all the best.